ocular toxoplasmosis uh what is it it's again the presenting complaint you might say it's a blurring of vision patients say it's a blurring of vision mm -hmm. there might be other things as well like uh, floaters uh, eye pain as well redness photophobia watering in the eye presenting complaint you might say it's it's like a blurring of vision right so, blurring of vision, then uh, RD, that for sure, right? Retinal detachment, you need to rule it out. Yeah. Keratitis, if it is pain, but usually ocular toxoplasmosis, again, they might say it's discomfort, less of pain, more of discomfort. Again, you know, it depends on like sometimes ocular toxoplasmosis, it's kind of very uh, severe as well. Sometimes it's mild. Mild cases, they don't have much problem, but uh, severe cases actually can cause. Uh, uh, pain as well. So keratitis or scleritis as your differential and glaucoma angle closure glaucoma, right? So presenting complaint, elaborate the presenting complaint, ask more of open question, uh, any other symptoms and these are other red flag or differentials that you can ask, right? How the patient is going to get it? Usually cat, patient might be living with the cat, cat feces, raw meat patient is dealing with, pregnancy, immunocompromised, immunocompromised patient for, for, for anything, patient is taking a steroid for anything, patient is pregnant, immunocompromised patient, that is what you will see, that you will see that patient might have this toxoplasmosis, right? Uh, this scenario might come with a fundoscopy mannequin as well, and you see, when you see the fundoscopy, what you're going to get there, uh, you're going to get this uh, uh, ocular uh, toxoplasmosis, right? Uh, that is going to be the very important thing. I'll, I'll, I'll discuss, I'll have a look at that as well. So, main is the blurring of vision. And when it happened, patient might be uh, uh, like having uh, some other symptoms like floaters, eye pain, redness, photophobia. Make sure you do that. Rule out some sinister red flags as well. Immunocompromised patients. Pregnant females, cat, living with cat. I know, you know, it's, it's a difficult for me to ask, do you live with cat? You're not going to ask that. But, you know, always ask for an open question. Whom do you live with? And these patients, they're very sensitive. Oh, I live with my cat. Okay, I got the answer. It's toxoplasmosis now, right? That's going to be quite helpful. So full blood count, inflammatory markers you can do. Now, what is the treatment? You know, if it is mild, milder cases, there is no treatment required, actually. The patient is going to get better on its own. There is patient, there's nothing that you need to do. Patient is going to get better on its own. Otherwise, if it is severe, then you have to go for immediate referral. Immediate referral. Now, I might be thinking, how I'm going to know it's a mild or severe again symptoms will tell obviously uh otherwise any doubt obviously it's gonna be better you involve the specialist there is no harm right at our level yeah uh treatment is a painkiller that is the pain is there obviously otherwise antibiotics usually the combination uh, pyrimethamine and sulfur diazine that is what is given to the patient right uh, inflammation is there uh, so what you can, what we'll do is the steroid is uh, also given so it is an infection that you can catch from the poo of infected cats or from the infected meat that is what happens right uh, follow up is a safety netting. I mean, just be careful if the patient is pregnant because the immunocompromised state of the patient, right? So, the management we have to be very careful. And if the patient is having vision loss, make sure uh, patient is uh, sent to the hospital, the specialist. I mean, right? That is really important. Will I go blind when it is going to get better? It is going to take a few weeks and you will be okay, right? But tell the patient be very careful uh, when uh, dealing with the cat feces, raw meat, because that is a source of infection right? Ice is very important. Patient might be able to tell you, right? Ice. Chuck and check, summarize, acknowledgement, body language, sign posting, active listening, leaflets. You know, you might be thinking, why the hell I have written all these points in every single slide of mine? Just to make sure that uh, you, you don't miss, you don't miss that actually, right? <clears throat> uh, what else? So, uh, follow up, always, always, uh, that is something that you need to mention. So this station, as I said, can come as a as a station where you have got a mannequin as well. So you have to be maybe very quick with your history. So milder cases, 
don't need any treatment major you may have to give a combination of antibiotics as well make sure you don't miss the risk factors uh, why this patient has got those risk factors right and then you bring those risk factors in the management as well examiner will be impressed all right mm -hmm.